once you get into the 50s and 40s, that's when you really start to feel that fall, very dry air. So we'll be close, but again, we'll take it, I think, instead of anything tropical. Now here is Earl. It is a post tropical storm. Now it is not uh, a fully tropical system. Notice all the clouds and the rain spreading out away from the center, and it also has some frontal features. It's not fully a tropical storm at this point or a uh, hurricane at this point, a tropical system. So that is not going to be covered by the National Hurricane Center anymore. Eventually it will continue to weaken. The other spot that we're watching is very much over the continent of Africa right now and only will emerge in the Atlantic by Monday and then it will have a low chance of developing in five days. But models not doing too much with this one and it is really far out. So we'll track it. We'll keep you updated right now. It's super far. Tropical climatology, of course, today and this week will be the peak of the season when you look at the average numbers for Atlantic Basin seasons for hurricanes. But uh, we aren't seeing any real action and only that one spot that might develop. Can't wait to get to this October time and then, of course, into November when we start to see the activity decrease. But I must say the long range models still have things pretty quiet going out another two weeks. Of course, that's not entirely reliable when you get that far out with the models they tend to get less and less re reliable the further out in time you go. But it is kind of nice to see, I must say.